This is AudioVeek MIDI Tools, and we're going to take a look at the Root plugin. Now, there are two versions of the Root plugin. One's an instrument, and one's a MIDI effect. Now, these both have... Uh, a purpose within their own right. So, for instance, in Beatmaker 3, we've always had this issue of uh, if we want to send MIDI out to an external MIDI port or to an external MIDI app inside the iPad itself, um, we've always had to have a sampler with an empty sample loaded into it. Um, so, what you can do now is you can take your MIDI root instrument, like so, which is a synthesizer. You can uh, go to your plugin, load your plugin up, bring the interface up. Now you can change the destination. I've I've got um, I am one running just so we can see it working. It will work with any uh, hardware MIDI output or any MIDI output that actually exists. Um, um, as you can see, it's playing I am one fine, and we haven't had to have that empty MIDI sample, and we haven't got it loaded as an IAA. IAA. It's just send in to whatever MIDI port you choose. Um, you've got your channel where you can select which channel it goes to. Um, so that's that's a utility plugin that's uh, great because, we again, we don't have to have a sampler loaded. Now, we'll uh, remove this plugin here. Like So we'll just bring in a synthesizer quickly. Um, let's go for Poison 202 because it's always worth promoting uh, Jim Audio's plugins. Um, now what we're going to do is I'll just bring up Poison 2 or 2 quickly and turn it down a little bit because uh, I don't want it overpowering. Um, so we've got, got the synthesizer running there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a pad level. Remember all this stuff is done at a pad level rather than a bank level. Uh, and we'll load a Rosetta Baseline. We'll just generate a quick pattern like so. Right now, when you're uh, running normally, you can't record that pattern data to a MIDI clip or a MIDI item in your arranger, um, so uh, that's a problem. Uh, with the MIDI root effect, because again, like I said, there's an effect and an instrument. The instrument we've already seen will attach itself to any any uh, MIDI uh, output. The effect will do the same, but you can actually put it post the um, the MIDI effects. Uh, like uh, Rosetta Baseline, any any MIDI generator. So if we load it in here, uh, like so, we're just going to load in, um, I can't actually find it, MIDI root here, and then we'll show the plugin. And now we've, we've got it on Beatmaker 3, so it's now recording into Beatmaker 3. So we'll go to our arranger. Now, the thing is, you can record this to the same track. Um, however, you've got issues there being that um, you could in theory, create a feedback problem because the MIDI is coming out of the track and back into the track. That's just the way MIDI works at the moment in Beatmaker. So the best thing for you to do is for you to... Um, close the browser there a second. Uh, is to create a new MIDI bank, like so. Uh, I, I normally turn off record of the track that I'm on just to be safe, uh, but I haven't set up the input there anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. But what we're going to do is we'll set up our MIDI input here. We're going to go to port all. So that's that's your, your beat maker port. Instead of single channel, we're going to put it onto multi channel, like so. And then we're just going to hit record. Uh, and as you'll see, it will now record all the MIDI coming out of the baseline generator. So again, it's a utilitarian plugin. Both have their own uses. The instrument is great for sending out to a MIDI output. Um, the reason you wouldn't use uh, the MIDI effect itself to send out to the MIDI output, it can. This MIDI effect can send out to the Korg IM1 as well. But the difference is that in Beatmaker in particular, you have to activate a bank before it will send MIDI. That was the whole point of having the uh, dead sample in the sampler. You have to activate the bank. So because you're loading the synth version of this plugin, it activates the bank. So then you can program whatever MIDI you want in your arranger. It will send it to any external app. It will send it to any external hardware. Um, and the effect version, because you're loading it after a generator like Baseline, etc., 
you can then record that to a track. Uh, quick thing here, people will say, well, actually, it's on a different track. Now I've got to load this, that, and the other. You just open your pattern helper, and you can drag the pattern to wherever you want on whatever track you want. So it's a very, it is actually a really quick way of working. It's a quick way of recording your stuff down to the arranger. Um, that's the plugin, and we'll see you on the next video.